that's a product line that we've been involved in for some 20 plus years with our Dynadrive. Uh, we realized the limitation of that product as far as going to the larger farms. Um, when I first got back in January to Alamo Group, we decided that vertical tillage was a, uh, an area where we could expand our dealership base and offer a new product to the, ba the base that we already have. We also see it as a as an extension of the tillage line that we already have. Our deep ripping Earthmaster tool uh, is is known for compaction management and also for a degree of residue management. But that type of tool doesn't get used in the same field year after year after year normally. Uh, and so we needed a a similar tool that would also help with with residue management. Uh, to complement the Earthmaster and, and this vertical tillage tool has done a great job of that. Uh, it also ties into the other side of the residue management which is our uh, uh, 20 and 25 foot flail shredders where people are using those to shred stocks. They still need to have some way to go around and till the ground um, and, and to manage that residue that's, that remains and the vertical tillage really does that helps manage the compaction from the winter snows and, uh, and and takes care of the residue at the same time. Oh, a couple of the drivers is, is the hybrids keep changing and as, we, as we've gone along now we started to see um, some of the no-till guys come out and say you know I'm getting I'm getting wet uh, matting problems in the field before I go in the soils aren't warming up um, I'm having problems getting the seed placement where I want to because of all the residue compaction and uh, I think it's just a combination of things that are going on there. And so some of the no-till guys have even spoken up saying, you know, is there something I can do to help manage this residue a little bit? Uh, right along that same line, that uh, being able to get in and break up the winter uh, surface compaction, just take care of the top two inches of soil, uh, lets a guy go in and, and really have a uh, seed bed that is warmed up faster, that dries out faster so he can get in the field and plant the seed and with a vertical tillage tool, he can also plant it at a much more consistent depth uh, across the whole uh, field. So his, his crop is going to be a lot more uniform with that. So there's some real advantages to it. Uh, but as Greg said, the driving factor really and truly comes down to the types of crops that are being grown today. Well, there's a couple of things that are a little bit unique about our machine. Uh, one of the things that we're doing is, is we run the gangs on an 18 degree angle. The blade that we're using um, as, we've, as we've done the testing and working with our, our suppliers and our farmers that we've been talking to, the blade is staying sharp over a very long period of time. What we're hearing from a lot of guys in the field is, is over a period of time a straight blade tends to dull down on the front edge, kind of a butter knife effect, so to speak. And what happens is, is that then tends to ride up over the mat just a little bit. One of the things that we're finding with our machine is got, it's got a hill and a valley in the, in the sawtooth design of it and that stays engaged with the ground a lot more and it's actually contacting the ground a lot more often. So it's digging into that material, sizing it and then moving on. One of the things that uh, we hear talked about is, is the guys that are uh, really and truly pushing vertical tillage that use straight coulter blades uh, for their primary way of, of chopping up the residue. Uh, they, they don't move the dirt really at all unless you're traveling at a at a very high rate of speed. Uh, ours, we, we have a slight concavity in our blade and, and the reason for that is we want to move the dirt just enough to capture that residue, to keep it from blowing into the waterways or into the ditches, uh, to keep it so that uh, it stays there and it breaks down there so that whatever nutrient value is left in that residue stays in the field and you can come back in the spring and, and put it right back into the ground. Uh, and those are, I think that's the key points that we really talk about. As we developed this product line, we came probably what would be a little late to the booking season for this type of product. And what we did is we've extended our programs out until January 31st for this product line, um, or actually the middle of January for this product line. And what we're doing right now is we're in the process of developing the next set of sizes for this for this unit. We're working on a 25 foot machine and a, possibly a 30 foot machine as we go forward to be launched uh, early this spring. So we're working on our third version of this product line. And we're, uh, we've been in the tillage business for a long time. This is not something that's totally new for us. 
Uh, it's not uh, it's not that we're in the tillage uh, today and we're going to be out of it tomorrow. We're in it for the long haul. Um, and this, as Greg said, this is something we're just developing. We've got the first size out in test and we're developing more sizes to come with it. Uh, we're offering finance programs for the dealers to use as they try to retail it. So there's, there's a number of key things there that, uh, that we feel like will help us help the dealer get the job done.